Hi everyone, welcome to day 18 of ARD countdown series for NABAR grade 2025 exam. First, let us discuss answers of day 17. So, first question of day 17 was in which sowing method are seeds scattered randomly on soil surface? So, students, this particular method is broadcasting. So, we have different type of seed sowing method and in broadcasting what we do, we just randomly scattered seed over the soil surface. Clear? So, this was the question that was asked in your NABAR examination as well. Second question was what what is the primary advantage of dibbling method of sowing? So, what is dibbling method? First of all, in dibbling method, we have a tool or equipment you can say which is known as dibbler. Okay, now this dibbler help to dig the hole in the ground at a definite uh, depth and at a particular place, right? So, the primary advantage of doing dibbling method of sowing is that seeds are placed at definite depth and spacing of uni for uniform growth, right? So, we can ensure the depth and the growth, uniform growth of crop. Next question was, during germination, the process of seed swelling with water is called. So, students, whenever we sow seed and the seed absorb water for the germination, this process of absorption of water is known as imbibation, clear? So, right answer will be imbibation option A. So, that was the answers of day 17. Let's see the questions of day 18. First question is, what happens when plant population exceeds optimum level? Your options are yield per plant increases, competition among plant decreases, yield per plant decreases, but yield per per area increases up to the limit, photosynthesis per leaf increases, nutrient use efficiency decline permanently. Okay, so carefully read all the options and then give me the answer. Next question is, which of the following defines crop geometry? Okay, crop geometry hoti kya hai? Aapko batana hai. Options are the volume of soil occupied by each plant, arrangement of plant in rows and column for efficient use of resources, Distance between two adjacent field, area under cultivation, crop rotation pattern. Okay. Next question is in the quincus or diamond system, how plants are arranged? You have to tell, right? So, first you need to understand what is the quincus or diamond system of plant geometry. Clear? So, these are your questions of day 18. I hope you have enjoyed. Please do let me know the answers in the comment section. Thank you. Thank you so much.